Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to talk to you about your first periods, how to deal with it. Uh, and I'm going to give you every small little detail, you know, based on experience. And I'm going to try and make it really simple and uh, give you all, all the little details that usually people miss out on so that you can be able to handle your periods and uh, not find it very challenging. Okay, so when I talk about, when, when I say first periods, I do not mean menarche, you know, when you first start bleeding. I am talking about the period after that. So what usually happens is when you start bleeding the first time, you know, your family is there with you. And in India, you know, we have so many customs and everyone's too busy with, oh, feed her this, feed her that, give her this, give her that. You know, she shouldn't be going out, boys shouldn't be looking at her. But people miss out on the most important little details that are very important you know it's important to tell your girl that these things will happen and uh, she should be prepared for it so i'm going to tell you everything that you should do after that because usually your first periods is quite light and you have so many people giving you attention so i think it's just going to be very exciting at that moment but after that is when the real challenge starts so i'm going to tell you what you should do after that when you have like your real periods and you know heavy bleeding and all of that Okay, so the first thing you should know is that your body is going to change. It's going to change in different ways. You're going to have a lot of hair growth, you know, in your private parts. Uh, maybe, you know, if, you know, some nowadays I feel like girls just grow up really soon, like when they're 10, 11. Uh, so, you know, you don't have body hair, you don't have anything. It is going to start now and it's very normal. There's nothing to, you know, feel ashamed off and uh, you just need to accept it that you're just growing up and these changes are going to happen now the second thing uh, that is really like the most difficult part of your period is the cramps cramps can be really bad sometimes and uh, dealing with them is kind of a problem i think for girls of every age like that is something you just don't get used to so what really helps you at that time is a hot water bag now if you're at home you can have a hot water bag or you can also buy these electric pads that come which you can carry with you which you can carry to you know school i'm guessing if you're your first periods then you are in school so you can carry it to school and you can always like place it on your stomach wherever it is hurting and that will really you know help with the cramps um you know it, it makes it much more easier your cramps kind of reduce and if you're at home then a hot water bag is good if you do not have a electric uh, pad you can buy a small hot water bag like this you can you know go to your school canteen and ask them for some hot water nobody's going to deny it you can ha ask them for some hot water you can put it you know in in a bag like this and then place it on your stomach and sit throughout the class if you you know find it difficult handling cramps if not you can always go to your doctor and um ask them for a painkiller and uh, your doctor according to your body and according to how your body reacts to a certain things will give you a medicine but a lot of times mothers are not okay with you know daughters taking painkillers so in that case this helps i also have a recipe for a uh, for ginger tea in in you know my on my channel so you can check that out that helps a lot so you know before going to school you can have you know a cup of ginger tea and that really helps with your cramps now the next and the most important thing i think is that at all times in your bag you should be having one underwear and two pads at least uh, and if you uh, you know if your uh, school is really strict about wearing those tights those shorts you should be carrying one pair of those uh, shorts too i'll tell you why because you know sometimes you know you if you are not keeping a track of your periods and all of that you can stain your clothes you can stain your skirt now obviously i think it's a old school trick that when you whenever your uh, you know your skirt is stained we like to tie the sweater around it now that is fine but i feel like it, it would be you, you you'll feel so uncomfortable to sit with you know stained panties and uh shorts and you know have your pad on it i think that will just make you feel really messy so you know if you are carrying a, a you know an underwear or a shorts with you you can just like you know wash yourself up in your school uh, toilet and you can wear your um new underwear and shorts and feel you know really comfortable and feel free for the rest of the day uh so i feel like this is very important i used to do that i used to carry a, a pair of underwear pads and shorts and it really helps you.
Now the next thing is using uh, eucalyptus oil when you're taking bath. So whenever you are on your periods, try to take bath at least twice a day, like before going to school and after you come back, you know, from school. And once you come back and you're just washing your body, add some, you know, add at least a cap of eucalyptus oil in your hot water and take bath, you know, it really relieves you of, you know, cramps and inhaling the eucalyptus oil, you know, makes you feel really fresh and, uh, you know, all the sweat, dirt it takes out and just taking bath with eucalyptus oil makes you feel good. It's It just makes you feel really relaxed. And uh, this is not only for you when you are on your periods, I think every girl, whenever you know, you're just washing your body add a little bit of eucalyptus oil in your bath and it makes you feel amazing it makes you feel really relaxed and fresh and you will smell good there'll, there'll be no odor and you will just feel nice eucalyptus oil just does that to you okay it's, it feels really amazing so try and use eucalyptus oil whenever you're taking bath the next thing is also very important is choosing the right pad for you now this i think is like a personal choice and it really depends on your personal experience and most of the times it's trial and error uh, but i'll tell you one thing one thing that i've learned through experience is not to use those stay free ultra thin pads those pads can cause severe rashes and i absolutely hate those pads i used to use it long long back but i completely stopped it now a lot of times people choose pads depending on the flow but i also think it really matters depending on your size now i was a very skinny girl so i never wanted you know i never uh, required a long you know those double xl pads so pads that are of this size was more than enough for me but i think especially at night it's very important for you to use the longer ones you know let me just show you the difference yeah so this can be used during the day and this for night because especially at night when you sleep on your back whenever you sleep on your back or whenever you sit your pad you know slightly uh, moves backward sorry it slightly moves in the front so for that you will need extra coverage now uh, i learned this also the hard way is your sleeping position like when i got my periods there was no one to tell me a lot of things uh, so i would in my mind think that if i sleep left or right you know i can i'll bleed sideways and i'm going to stay in my clothes so i used to always sleep straight and that time i used to use only maxi pads so i used to always stay in you know the back of my clothes so i think it is very important to know what is, what fits you right but uh, always buy pads that will at least come till your butt behind to give you that coverage because like i said every time you sit your pad moves a little in front and if you're using like a small pad then it'll move completely in front and then you will stay in the back side so um you really have to try out different pads you will learn it but you really have to try out different pads to see what really works best for you now your period doesn't completely like you know stop like it's not like okay you're bleeding for five days and on the fifth day it completely stops you will have slight bleeding like on the sixth day seven day there will be slight spotting so on those days panty liners are really helpful because you don't want to wear an entire pad just for that little spotting so on those days use panty liners this is uh, from Sophie, I, Sophie, yes, from Sophie, I think. Uh, I'm not sure. I will leave the link in the description box. But these are really thin and they come really handy on days, you know, when you're having little bleeding and little spotting here and there and you don't want to wear an entire pad. On those days, you can really carry this. Also, another thing that I've seen in a lot of girls is not changing your pad regularly you have to change your pad frequently throughout the day don't wait for it to completely you know get filled um whenever you go to the toilet and you think you have that extra time just change your pad you know there's there's nothing wrong in you know changing your pad it's just going to make you i mean keep you fresh now another thing every time you go to the toilet you have to wash it i've said it in my previous video you have to wash but whenever you're on your periods after you wash make sure you pat yourself dry and then you know wear your underwear with your pad because if you don't pat yourself dry it's going to be damp there and then there's pad and there's a lot of friction there's a lot of moisture 
getting rashes is much much more easier so i think it is best to you know pat yourself dry and then wear your underwear that way it just remains fresh and you will not have a lot of uh, rashes now if you are someone who gets rashes very easily i get rashes all the time even now i get rashes like you know after i finish my periods the next two three days becomes a little difficult you can't walk in all of that so for that i think the best thing that my doctor had suggested me was diaper rash cream johnson baby has it himalaya has it um they use it for on babies when they get uh, diaper uh, rashes so use that um how you should use that is or uh, after you finish your periods whenever you know you take a shower or you wash yourself apply the cream wherever you have rashes and don't wear your underwear for some time for at least 5 10 minutes you know don't wear your underwear just put on the fan and sit and that will really soothe your rashes and it will also um you know bring down the the itchiness the pain and it it, it is very cooling when you do that when you switch on the fan and you sit it's very cooling so buy those uh, rash cream keep it with you because you are going to get rashes especially because you know it's like your first time uh it is going to be a little uncomfortable pads can be very uncomfortable like i i don't think girls get used to the feeling of having pads it, it's always uncomfortable so keep rash cream with you just in case you have severe rashes you can always use them keep at least four or five period panties separately which have which fit properly which have proper elastic you know which are not too tight but not too loose keep them separately and use them only for your periods uh during your periods it really helps because when you have the proper fitting of underwear when you know the elastic let me just show you when the elastic fits you properly and these things fit you properly your pad stays in place it will not move a lot but you know make sure it's not too tight too tight also is uncomfortable too loose also is uncomfortable so you know find the right pair i mean right pair of you know proper properly sized underwears and keep them separately just for your periods and that also really helps now during your periods after every meal make sure to have hot water it really helps with bloating uh, because you know you're already having cramps and then there's bloating and it just makes you really uncomfortable so whenever you're on your periods drink as much as you can you know as much as you can drink hot water uh, that will really help with you know soothing your stomach and you know um, you will not feel bloated and if you can you know whenever you feel like there's cramps just make ginger tea and keep it and then heat it up whenever you can and have it that really helps with cramps bloating and you know it just makes the the entire experience much more easier now the other thing that is going to happen no matter how much you try and be careful it is going to happen and it's very normal is staining your clothes so if you ever stain your clothes if you ever stain your bed sheet or your underwear don't worry just run it under cold water and wash it and the stain will go right away you don't have to worry about it you know you can always like you know rinse it first under cold water and then put it in the washing machine and add some detol to it and uh, you know that way it keeps your underwear clean and uh, the stain also will not be there so don't worry don't at all you know worry or be embarrassed if you stain your bed sheet or if you stain your clothes it is normal it has happened to all of us it's always going to happen so don't worry about that another great tip for girls who you know like sleep in weird positions and you just can't be careful you know about how you sleep during your periods is to double up your pad so you know what you do is you first place one pad on your um you know underwear and then another pad on top like that so that way it gives you full coverage behind and you can sleep in whatever position you want and it's not going to you know you're not going to stain your clothes and uh, it will give you full coverage behind so uh, the thing is you know you place one pad place another pad like that and um, that you won't you will not have any leakage or uh, you will not stain you know the, your clothes behind because it gives you extra co coverage behind on your butt so that way uh, it is completely you know fine and you can sleep in whatever position you want i've spoken about this already uh you know buy some wash like this it really helps during periods uh i already have a video on how to wash your vagina properly uh, i mean the correct correct way so uh, buy some buy one like this this will last you for almost like 2 months easily uh, and it really helps you and i i hope i've covered everything because 
in today's video whatever i spoke to you i spoke based on experience on what i've you know gone through so if you guys have some more tips for girls you know who are experiencing their first period and they think it's challenging leave comments in the um comment box help each other out if you have some more tips let me know and uh, i hope i have helped you in some way and um, if you have a daughter if you have a sister who is going to get her periods or who's going through it and you know who's not very open about these things show her this video and i hope i have helped you in in at least a you know like the smallest way um yeah so that's it for the video guys i hope i hope i really helped you because uh, this was something i really wanted to make uh, so i really hope it helped you and if it did then please like and subscribe until next time bye